WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the 3 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on this Wednesday, the 16th of March. The Dow screamed all the way to 34,075. Then as the Fed came on and spoke about seven um, rate increases, over, at least thinking about it over the, the coming months, uh, the market plunged and went down sharply. It actually went down to the 33,391 level. It's almost 300 points above that right now at 100, up 110. I'll talk about what I think is a, a crucial psychological part for the market. When I, I'm not a psychologist, but we'll talk about it in terms of market psychology as soon as we turn for the Tom O'Brien show, where I'll be guest host. Let's look at the S&P. SPX right now is trading at, where did I type that? It just disappeared. I'm sorry. S&P is trading at uh, it's up 41. And that's really uh, amazing since at some point today, it went all the way to the 4347 level, plunged down to the 4251. And here it is 50 points high at 4302, up 39. When you were looking at both the Dow and the S&P, it's really just in a rectangle move. It's just going sideways between a trading range. And that's what we have to discuss when I get back for the Tom O'Brien show. QQQ is having a nice move up, up 650 at 334.70. This is a small cap index. And we're looking at it just hitting resistance and pulling back, but holding quite nicely here, up 1.9%. We're looking at the IWM. This is Oh, that was a QQQ. Now we're talking about the small caps, the Russell 2000, stuck in a range at 199.31. Good action, but really it's had good action most of the week, but it hasn't broken out. It's in the middle of the range. Really what we need to look at is gold. Gold is down 15 at 1914. Uh, it slipped at eight to 1895 earlier on. It's coming back. The technicals are suggesting that just on the shorter term, gold is going to have a lot of resistance at the 1953 level. We're looking at uh, crude oil. Crude oil held quite well. It's now down um, at 95.13, down a dollar 30. It looks like that 93 area is going to be critical to hold if it does slip anymore. And we're looking at the TLT. This is the story. What did the Fed have to do? The market, the bond market has done everything for the Fed. Rates have speed to the upside. The TLT is at 132.13. It made a low today of 130.32. You know, a lot of the Fed's work is done. And I think the market's going to look a little bit ahead and maybe rally um, into, uh, into Thursday and Friday. We'll see. I'll be back for the Tom O'Brien Show. Stay tuned. Hope to see you there. The reality 